Have you ever wondered how safe your car truly is? If so, then you've likely heard about the NCAP star ratings, a topic of discussion among both Indian customers and manufacturers. Those dramatic slow motion videos of cars crashing into walls are part of NCAPS, a program that assesses new car safety. Based on how cars handle the forces during a crash, they receive a star rating. Today, we are taking you behind the scenes of a live crash test at Tata Motors Lab to see what goes on. Interesting case study how your corporate vision can turn into your brand if you keep at it, keep working on it over the years. And this is what safety is for Tata Motors. Right now, we are at the Tata Motors crash test facility and we are going to watch this live crash testing of Tata Safari at this uh, facility. We'll also try and understand what kind of mechanism uh, goes behind this whole uh, testing, what are different areas, uh, what are the preparations, how these dummies work and how exclusive are they and, and how do you capture this crash which lasts for maybe a couple of milliseconds. Independent agencies like Global NCAP and our own Bharat NCAP conduct these tests in state-of-the-art facilities. High-speed cameras capture every detail and cars are awarded points based on their performance in three key areas. Adult Occupant Protection AOP, Child Occupant Protection COP and Safety Assist Technologies. Bharat NCAP assigns star ratings from 1 to 5 with 5 being the highest. To achieve a 5-star rating, manufacturers like Tata Motors strive for the highest possible points in each category. For example, a 5-star rating in adult occupant safety requires a score between 27 and 32, while a 5-star rating in child safety requires a score between 41 and 49. So this Tata Safari is going to be crash tested today in front of our eyes and before we do that, before this uh, car is all crumpled up. Uh, let's take a look at the settings where uh, crash test is going to happen. First of all, uh, this uh, barrier, uh, which is uh, looking metallic uh, from outside, it has this concrete wall behind it. And then this uh, uh, rig, which has this blue uh, attachment. This represents uh, another car coming from opposite direction and uh, this test will be called offset frontal uh, crash test. So you can see the dummy inside and uh, child seats. This is also fitted with five high-speed cameras on the inside and ten high-speed cameras on the outside. Dummies are crucial to these tests and their cost reflects their complexity. Each dummy can cost around 2.5 crore rupees depending on the number of sensors it carries. Integral part of any crash test are these dummies and uh, you can see different size, different shapes of uh, these dummies and very interesting thing about uh, these dummies is they, they were expensive, 2.3 to 2.5 crores and uh, they're fitted with almost 42 sensors. You can see these wires uh, going from head uh, towards uh, the back and then uh, to the sensor and then uh, you have sensors in the hands and legs and uh, you have uh, a dummy for 1.5 year olds also. You must be wondering why these dummies are so expensive. So the reason uh, is these sensors. They are uh, high precision machines and calibrated for uh, impact up to 100 G within three to four milliseconds. And uh, these are the sensors which are fitted in different parts of these dummies. For different tests, you have different kind of uh, dummies. For example, this is for uh, side crash tests and the sensors are fitted in a very different manner. They need to be stored in a very specific temperature and humidity zone, which has to be between 18 degrees to 22 degrees. And humidity should be below 70%. While the actual crash test only lasts a few seconds, extensive preparation takes three to five days. You might be wondering how many crash tests happen before a car launch. The answer might surprise you. Before reaching the crash test stage, numerous simulated and physical tests are conducted. This lab includes a servo acceleration sled test facility as well. Here, engineers use simulators and rigs to create crash-like scenarios, testing everything from seats and harnesses to dashboard materials and infotainment systems, ensuring they don't cause injuries during an actual crash. Only after these rigorous simulations are cars finally taken for the real crash test. Last year alone, Tata Motors conducted nearly 150 real crash tests, highlighting their commitment to safety. After understanding the entire process, we can imagine the thousands of simulated tests calibrations and modifications happening behind these real tests. 
all with the goal of achieving higher scores and the 5 star rating. Mm.